mentioned that we've been patiently waiting and also the players they went through all the prelims this morning all the looseness the stretches the fielding drills into the air and gone first wicket down mortars are short of a length good pace good bounce Bermuda one down wicket in his way first over Mashfi Murtazar testing it with a short pitch delivery and uh, Arthur Bridge trying to hook it in the air and Muhammad Rafiq doing the rest. It's a good start for Bangladesh. He goes back but no score. Bermuda 2 for 1. Pavilion end. Should be out. Wicket number two goes down. Habibul Basha gleefully holds on to the chance. And Mortaza has his second wicket. Bangladesh can see the light. Still a long way to go. The back of the bat, maybe the leading edge. Gordon looking to play that ball through the onside. And off the edge and just lobbing gently to mid off. Bangladesh would like them all like that. Easy. And it means a lot. Bottom goes for two, it's eight for two. Gone! He's not tight enough. And that was always on the cards on this pitch. Good wicket for Russell. And Bangladesh, they're seeing it drawing closer and closer. That opportunity in the Super 8s. The value on that wicket is exhibited by the celebration free flowing hit it pretty well good catching and they wanted that wicket that's the big one bermuda disastrous start he's made good contact this time very good strike from pitcher Good appreciation from the crowd, most of the double figures. That's more like it. As soon as uh, you get your foot across close enough to make contact, there's always runs. It was in the air, but um, the ball would slide through this outfield as uh, it's quite slippery on the surface. He's gone straight. Even the middle of was fairly wide. And the captain remained. Thinks it's business time. Excellent shot by Romain. Straight down the ground, the full face. Illustrates that uh, some of these players could play. It's just that. It's a better shot. Much better shot. Very pleasing to watch all along the carpet. Sending out to be a good over to the uh, joy of the Bermudian spectators all along the ground beating the man at mid off moved straight but he had no chance whatsoever the big made all these cricketers from bermuda he strikes them they stay hit it's been a good over 10 runs off it so mid off goes to long off the man at deep point comes inside the ring That could be close, and up goes the finger. There he strikes with the quickest delivery at 100 kilometers an hour. Abdul Razak, having conceded 10 runs in the first five deliveries, takes up a wicket with the last delivery. A good bowling by him. Again, uh, that quicker delivery doesn't give the batsman any opportunity to try and get forward. Wrapped him on the pad and umpire. High in the air. Fielder at deep mid wicket. He's down, dressed it. Ashraful, the fielder. Easy catch. Not helpful. Slippery ball, perhaps, but we've only been out there a couple of balls. Went high. The running between the wickets was, uh, well, they were pretty confident he was going to catch it. Heaved away into the leg side. There'll be two at least here.
Look to take this too low. Set himself with the hands well below the eyes. He didn't just get close enough to catch the ball at the regulation height. Big shot again. Out into the offside. Oh, what a good catch that makes up for it. Captain Abibul Bashar takes a good catch. One down and one taken in this over. Well, in the game before, he dropped a couple of sitters. And this is a good catch. Ball going away from him. Three converging on this ball. But the captain, it's mine. Well, he stays in there. Shelled a couple in the last game. Like four overs to bat. Oh, that will do. That will do. It doesn't matter where they come from. It should be a couple. It's one feature you notice about this Bangladesh team is they're young. They're the youngest in the competition. And they're very quick. They seem to be able to chase the ball down. The outfield's wet, so it's going to go slower. Very fast. Well, they're much better organised than they used to be. More experience, of course. That will do. That will do. Find the boundary. And some. Lionel Khan. He really got hold of that. Long, long way. Just what we needed, needed. Right off the middle. Fourth ball. The length was perfect. Offside this time. Reaches the boundary, a couple of bounces. This is a good over for Bermuda. Move on to 68 for five. Well, the ball's slippery, and perhaps that right is why Aftab is introduced because the spinners could cramp Khan, but if he gets wits or not up in the block hole, he's certainly shown he can hit the ball in the short time he's been there. It's 20 over or so much, just maybe Bangladesh, uh, Bermuda's best chance. Smeared away into the leg side, it's another boundary. Just in front of the rope, it's four. 18 overs have gone, it's 72 for five. Good over for Bermuda. 17 from it. Last boundary. I think they've got to go back to spin. Spin from the other end as well. Baldy. Well, that bit of fun is over, but it's been effective innings from Lionel Khan, 16. It was more like a German goalkeeper shot. Well bowled. Speared into middle and leg. Pretty full. And a short but effective innings comes to an end. Thick outside edge. No chase from the fielder. It's four. The best place on the park. Very hard area to protect. You settle for that. Old Rafiq can just stand there and reflect. It can be cruel for the spinners. They know that batsmen are coming at them. They've got to eight deliveries left, Bermuda. Oh, another terrific catch. Fielding well. Well, as a batter, you think, oh, how could I pick him out like that? I hit it so well. A metre either side, and it was six. Hit it well. Tommy is... Big shot. Big shot. Sixer. Probably no coincidence that the Bermudian batsmen have looked almost at their best 
when they're trying to ball strike the ball, when they're not worried about their technique, but just get it somehow to the boundary. They've looked, they've looked better, they've looked more accomplished. I think they'd have been much better if they'd have known right at the beginning this is a 20-over game. No inhibitions, just play your shots. And again, not got hold of it, fielder under it, takes a catch. Miners has gone, but it's a nice innings. Tammy with the safe hands down at long on. Well, a very good innings by Dean Mike Miners. 23 runs, 25 balls faced. The idea was right. Didn't get hold of it. He's got the power, but it was too high on the bat. Safe catch. Bermuda, 90. Last delivery. Bold him. Well, what a damp end on a damp day to Bermuda's innings. They finish on 94 for nine. And the last over has produced eight runs and two wickets. Perfectly executed by the bowler. But Bermuda have done pretty well. They've added 42 in the last five or so overs. And the belief will be much, much stronger. Tamim Iqbal take first strike. Bangladesh off and running. Magnificent. Simply outstanding from Kevin Hurdle. He had to sprint about 15 yards to his left. He moved early. That certainly is up there with one of the catches of a series. Unbelievable catch. Tami Mebal going down the wicket, hitting in the up. Look at that. Brilliant. Superb catch. Almost half the innings gone. That's gone too. That's gone a long way. That's a massive six. What a way to end the over. 17 for one. What a shot to end the over. Kevin Hurdle pitching one shot and Shahir Nafi is going down the track and uh, pulling it. Big six for the batsman. A fish and four. Well, he's not going to wait. Joy for the spectators. Joy back home too. Anticipating, inching over to make history. Bit of inside edge, will run away to the fence. Doesn't matter how they come, as long as they keep coming, by signaled. Again, big deviation after pitching. It's never easy for the wicket keeper to standing up with that ball deviating from uh, between bat and pad, just over the stumps, but again, an excellent delivery. As you would see, uh, the Bangladeshis are, in fact, uh, struggling against the moment. That could be close. That could be very close. Up goes the finger. Second wicket gone. After Abamid. Oh, certainly has been rewarded for some excellent bowling. The majority of the Bermudians. Again, pitching outside off stump and jagging back, hitting on the back foot. There's no doubt. It's a big wicket, Sharia Nafiz. Look at that for celebration. There will be plenty of it in the stands as well. He's certainly making this ball top for the Big swing. Turned it around completely and uh, straight to second slip. Taka the catcher. And just look at Mukadan. Oh! Just a dab, it's a cheeky shot. Will it go all the way? Oh, it does. Beats the dive. 
Bangladesh need 30. Really nicely played at the end, opening the face of the bat and playing it finer. Really good shot under these circumstances. Awkward bounce. They can get a boundary, but at times they'll get only a single. But gives it. Oh, that's a good shot. Over the top of the mid on. That should go all the way. Nothing wrong in that shot. There's you saying singles all the time, and he hits one straight over the top. You say it's a great shot. These two will win it. They're playing well. 34 is the partnership from 40 deliveries. He's taken the option. He's taking the challenge to go over the... Swung away into the leg side. That will find a boundary. One bounce. Well, Sakib has basically made up his mind that anything pitched up, he'd go and hit one in the air. And uh, doing it successfully. Well, it's countdown time now for Bangladesh. They need 19. Potentially a boundary away from going through to the Super 8s, Bangladesh. There it is. Wonderful celebrations in the Bangladeshi dressing room. Ashraful and company are not absolutely sure. Yep. What a moment this is in the history of Bangladesh cricket. They are through to the Super 8s of the 2007 World Cup.